Sorry, Ola at JessicaFromOblique.com. Since it's October, I am going to show you how I made this accessory that will pretty much complete your costume. Everyone will know who you are without spending a lot of money. So it's a few dollars for felt or like 60 bucks. It's up to you. I am going to give you measurements for both the adult and child hats. So I came across a lot of tutorials online, but they're all missing something and I was confused on some of them. So I thought I'm just going to make a comprehensive video that includes everything. It takes me like less than half an hour to make this hat. And put this on, paint this, throw on a red shirt, green shirt, if you're Luigi, and jeans and you're good to go. You don't even need the blue suspenders. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and let's get started. First thing you're going to grab is your measuring tape. Now notice this circle is not exactly at the edge of the measuring tape, so you're going to have to add a quarter of an inch to any measurement you use. Now we need a 13 inch circle, so half of that's going to be six and a half inches, plus a quarter of an inch, which gives you six and three quarters of an inch. Now put your tack or your pin at six and three quarters of an inch, but make sure it's centered in the center of the measuring tape and then poke it through the measuring tape, then you're gonna lay it on your paper, make sure you have 13 inch clearance so you can complete your circle. Poke it through the paper and then into the carpet. If you have something you can poke into, then that's better, but carpet, it will not hurt the carpet at all. And so you're gonna hold the tack down, put your pin in the circle, and then you're just gonna twist your measuring tape around. Now make sure you're holding that tack down because if you don't, you're gonna get a weird shaped circle. So just keep going around and I love this technique because you can literally make any size circle that you need ever whenever you need it. Super easy. The next circle you need is a six inch circle. So half of that's going to be three inches at a quarter of an inch and you get three and a quarter of an inch. Now you're going to place your tack in the same exact spot that you had for your 13 inch circle. Okay, so this is going to center it for you. Then you just do the same technique, same method, hold the tack down and make your six inch circle. The last circle we need is a two and a half inch circle. Half of that's going to be one and a quarter inch. Add a quarter of an inch, that gives you one and a half inches. Place your tack at the one and a half inch in the center of your measuring tape. Place the tack at, in the previous hole for your other two circles and make your circle. The last measurement you have to make is a one and a half inch square. After you complete that, using your paper scissors, go ahead and cut out your square and your large circle. Lift your paper off to the ground. Using your razor, you're just going to score on the six inch line and you're just going to keep scoring over it until you poke through. Make sure you're not cutting the carpet, make sure you're not cutting your fingers and you're just going to slowly do this all the way around. Now it works even easier if you have a self healing mat that you can cut on and you just go around scoring it and cutting out your 6 inch circle and then cutting out your 2.5 inch circle. You want to be as clean as possible because you will be using this as a template. Here are the sizings for both the adult and the kid size hats. For both, you're going to need a 1.5 inch square. This is going to be the M or the L. Then you're going to need a 2.5 inch circle and that's going to be the white felt that both of them are going to use. For the adult, you're going to need a 13 inch circle in either the red or the green and then a 13 inch circle with a 6 inch circle cut out of the center. For the kids, you're going to need an 11 inch circle either in the red or the green and then an 11 inch circle with a 5 inch circle cut out of the center. Now that you have your pieces all cut out, you simply just trace them on your felt. The 2.5 inch goes on the white felt and the rest of them will go on the red or green felt. Now if you're skipping this template step and you just want to do the circles directly on the felt, then it's easy. You don't need the poster board. All you do is do the exact same steps except where the poster board was, you put your felt. So in this example, I'm using white felt and 
I'm going to put the pin in the one and a half inch mark and then use my pen and trace out the circle holding the center tack or pin in place. Make sure your felt doesn't move on you though. Next you're going to use your fabric scissors and cut out the pieces. I say fabric scissors because it will give you a cleaner line because they haven't been used on paper but if all you have are your paper scissors then go ahead and use it. It'll cut through. Now I'm going to use a black marker just so you can see it better on camera, but all you're going to do is trace it with pen. If you need to just trace it directly on here, you're going to do the same thing by using the 6 and 3 quarters inch in the center and make a circle. Make sure you make two large circles and only one of them has the center cut out of it. have them drawn out go ahead and cut them out using your fabric scissors now for the center six inch hole that you need to cut out you do need that piece intact so you want to fold it in half make a little slit so that your scissors can just slide into there and then cut out the entire circle carefully on the line then take the six inch circle you just cut out, fold it in half, and cut down the center. Using a scrap piece of felt, go ahead and cut out the one and a half inch square. If you're using your fabric scissors, make sure you don't cut the paper. You don't want to dull your blades. Easiest way to make an L, get your one and a half inch square, fold it in half to make a triangle, and then cut down the center. It'll form an L. If you want, you can trim it up if you feel like it needs any tweaks. Now to make the M, you're going to use red felt and cut a one and a half inch square as well. And you're just going to make three cuts. Really simple. So first thing you do is you grab your one and a half inch red felt square and then you're going to fold it in half and then you're going to find the center on the folded edge. And I'm going to use a black sharpie so you can actually see what I'm talking about, but you don't actually have to mark it for yourself. Then on the top, you're going to find the center, and all you're going to do is cut connecting the dots. Now you're going to find the very edge of the folded side, and then mark there. On the bottom, you're going to find the middle, mark there. And then now from the new folded, edge only the side that's folded and not cut off you're going to find the center but you have to mark it in the middle of the felt connect the dots and cut positioning the white patch on people want to center it but if you actually look at louis jean murrow's hat they're not centered it's actually sewn into the seam so put it closest to the bottom of the cut so when you sew it together it'll go in the seam so now we're going to top stitch the white onto the green hat with white thread you're gonna use a 1 8 seam allowance you're gonna extend your stitch length to 3.0 and I'm gonna turn off my fix button because I'd rather back stitch to lock this in so back stitch at the beginning and the end of your stitch and take your time go slow now you're gonna position the L you don't want to put it in the center because you are gonna use half an inch as you're sewing on the bill of the hat so position the L so that it's kind of touching that top part of that seam that you just sewed where my thumb is right here. And just go around the L. I used I think like a 1 16th inch seam as close as the edge as possible but not right at the edge because it's felt and you don't want it to fall off. But put your machine in the needle down position and just go slowly around the L. For the Mario, you do have to make sure that they are touching the top corners and that there is room on the bottom so you still have a half inch allowance to sew in your bill. Place the right sides together and sew along the curve using a 1/8 seam allowance. 
but you will not sew the straight part of the curve. You sewers out there, don't clip the curve. Turn it inside out. We want bulk. So push the curve out when you turn it inside out and line up the straight cuts using a basting stitch, which is just the longest stitch available on your machine. Base stitch the bottom close. Next, find the center of your hat bill and mark it on the seam. Also find the center of the white circle and mark it closest to the bottom. Now line up your bill and your circle mark, starting from the center and using a quarter inch seam allowance, go ahead and stitch it together. So now remember, if it goes under your needle, just make sure that part's lined up and you'll have a little bit of bulk here, but as long as it's straight going into the needle, you're good, because you're sewing on a curve right now, so you're not sewing a straight line, it's a little weird. Make sure you lock your stitch at the end, turn it around, and do the same thing for the other side of the bill. So when you take a look at it, the white part of the circle is going to be sewn into the seam and that's exactly what you want because that's how Mario and Luigi have their hats. Next you're going to hem it. Now this is felt so it doesn't actually have raw edges. If you wanted to skip this step, you're more than welcome to. Um, using pins or clips all the way around, you're going to roll up a half inch seam allowance to the wrong side of the material. And I'm just going around with my clips and just holding it down. So then you're going to top stitch and you're going to use a 1 8 seam allowance when you're top stitching starting from the right side of the L and working your way all the way around to the left side. I didn't go over the white part where the L sits because I have green thread and it would show up on there so if you want to you could, if not I just started there, went around and stopped right before it. Last step is adding the top part of the hat and you're just going to put right sides together. The great thing about felt is that they kind of stick together without holding them with pins. So just make sure that the bill of the hat is facing towards the center so that you don't sew it up into the seam. Use a quarter inch seam allowance which is just lining up with the edge of the foot and going all the way around. Make sure you don't pull the felt because if you pull the felt it's going to stretch out your circle. So you cut it exactly at 13 inches or 11 inches if it's a kid and you're just going to stitch all the way around. And we're not trimming the circle so you want it to be kind of bulky so you're just going to turn it inside out without trimming um, your curve.